Hello girls and guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't know if anyone can say they've got a Dacia without doing it in the James May style Top Gear. Like, good news, we've got a Dacia. This one is in for a CV joint. Um, you will hear that now, one second. Let's see if you can hear the clicking. So now you've heard what it sounds like, it does sound horrible. We're gonna get it on the ramp and replace it now. All right, so we've diagnosed it to this side. I'm using my tripod so no one gets motion sickness because a couple of my friends have pointed it out. So we're gonna try this. So um, we're replacing this. This is what is clicking its absolute knackers off. Um, so we're gonna take the caliper off. I'm gonna undo it from the top two shock bolts here, get the bright prop out of the way, hang the caliper up. Um, and then I'll show you how to remove one of these. I mean, it's gonna be good fun. So these are, I believe, 17. So we take a guess on 17. And our survey says, no, I think they're 18. Yeah, let's try an 18. Yes. So I've, I've cracked them off with the bar. Then you get Milwaukee, set it to Lefty Lucy. Nice and easy on them two eighteens. There you go. Now again, little uh, little heads up on it. Just push the pads back ever so slightly, so you can get the um, caliper out of the. Well, you can remove the caliper nice and easy to put up less of a fight, just like that. And then she's off. Now let's hang it up and get it out of the way, nice and safe. I've already um, undone the two 18, uh, the hub bolts, you can't really see them. Let me move this over here. Let me see if I get a little bit of lean back. Yes, there you go. So one's ready out. The other one doesn't want to come out. Hold on. There you go. Just spin that bad boy out. Just be mindful that this can drop forward and we don't want it coming out of the gearbox, otherwise we'll have gearbox oil everywhere. So, oh she is, ah, caliper moved back over there please. Love stuff getting in the way. Oh, one thing I've forgotten to do is bang the CV back. So we don't need to punch this back so it comes out of the hub. That doesn't want to seem to move at the moment. So, Really not used to using a stand. Difficult. Wax hammer. Is she coming out? Right. Tool of the month. Can't ever go wrong with a hammer. Of course, you've got to miss a few times just to make sure that you, uh, you hurt yourself. So that's all going back in. That's very good. Now, hopefully, that's out of there. So I need to tap that back a little bit more. Have we got enough slack? I'm going to remove the um, brake pad wire, uh, ABS sensor wires, just to have a little bit more slack on the drop so we don't put anything under too much tension. So, yes, plenty of lube. And what am I going to use? Use this. This should pop them out. They have not come out for a long time. Oh, wow. See what I mean? Everyone thinks it's a quick, quick and easy. There's no such thing. These are just glorified Renaults, by the way. Oh, that one is in there like swimwear. Okay, that ABS wire took up more time than it should have. So now, just tap the drive shaft all the way through. And would you look at that? It's out. Now let's turn the steering so we've got nice working room. So yeah. So to remove the um, the booty, clip one, clip two. So let's see. Oh, that's got a, a Jubilee clip on it. Well, that one will be easy to remove. Let's just get that off. 
I don't know why people use Jubilee clips when you could quite easily just put the proper clip on, but you know, we will, well, why do a lot of things happen in, in the trade, but they do. One down, now, this one is full seal, so I'm gonna have to get uh, the little grinder in and cut that off. All right, I saved you a lot of noise and screaming stuff, so I uh, cut that clip off, then I just decided to run it all the way through. And get out the big slips to cut the remaining boot off. Then we can have a little look on what's going on. Uh, these are actually tin snips, by the way, but they work just as good. There we go, that's all off. I've got to clean them straight away. That horrible CV grease. That's the boot done. So now, there you can see the, uh, the CV joint. All of its beauty and mess. Just gonna clean the shaft up a little bit. No, uh, no weird comments on my actions here, people. Uh -huh. oh, it's just horrible, man. It's absolutely horrible. So, there's two types of CV joint, primarily two types. One is knock on with, um, you, you tap it on, tap it off. Sometimes we've got circlips. So what we're gonna do is clean inside this area here as best as we can and try and work out which one we've got. I feel like this one is a knockoff unit where you just smack the crap out of it with a hammer. And pray you don't remove it from the other side. So let's have a little look. Now, I had a, just a quick brainwave. Before we get too involved in taking this off and everything else, we're gonna see if the, um, if the new one is correct. Now we can't check on the, the shaft, but you can check to see if it fits the wheel hub. And uh, as you can see from my joyful sliding, that fits the hub. So we're 50% of the way there. It's just whether or not that goes on there. So this is what the inside of a CV joint looks like. It's just ball bearings. And if you can see just inside there, not really great. Let me get the torch. Oh, my torch is on charge. There's a cl there's like a, a groove. Can't really see it, but that's where the CV circlip holds on the inside. It's just like a little metal lock ring. So that's what keeps that on. So that already tells me that I don't need to look for a, a, a circlip. I just need to smash it off. How, uh, how much of a fight is it gonna put up? We're gonna see in about five seconds. So let me just put some gloves on and let's get ready. Maybe something I should explain is, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a slight amount of movement on it. Obviously it's, it's wibbly and wobbly, but that little jiggle there is primarily in and out. It's kind of normal, but either way, when CV joints fail, they normally click like, like mad, as you heard from the earlier part of the video. All right, it's gonna be awkward to move the bin. So we need to hold it. And basically twat it like that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna come without a fight. Um, I've turned the steering full up to the right just to give me some more angle on the dangle. There we go. Let's try. <laughs> well, um, yes. So after the best part about half an hour of holding it, hitting it, really trying to get it off. I come to the conclusion that it did not want to remove itself. Um, so I cut it into pieces. Uh, cut the cage, removed some of the wheel, uh, some of the ball bearings, and then knocked it off. Now I'm just gonna put a little relief slit, not too deep into here, well, top and bottom, and then popped it out because the, the uh, circlip, it's just been a bit of a, Bit of a pain to be honest. Right, you cannot see the carnage that I have created here, but half is out and the other half, let's use the uh, air hammer for it. It just does not want to come off. I probably have to hit that hammer a little bit. Try and, um... Yeah, come on.
Still doesn't want to come off. This circlip is just mangled. I'm glad we're replacing it. Really am. There we go. Hey, Mr. Bin. So there is the shit clip, as I like to call it. Um, yeah, that's what that's what stops. That is loose. But yeah, we didn't cut all the way through. So there's gonna be people saying, "Oh, you've cut the shaft." There we go. I'll give you a little a little shaft inspection. So I'm having trouble working my shaft around people. So yeah. Just literally we made enough to make a mark well to weaken it a lot and then once we weakened it went in with a chisel major amounts of hadoukens and then just finished it off with the air chisel just to punch it out so now that's off now give it a good clean up everyone likes a clean shaft i think i've made that joke already i'm sorry if i have so in the bag we've got new nut two new clips and a new circlip Right, so to remove the old one, get a little hooky hooky. Come on. Oh. I don't know why to make him so fit. Ah, that one. Ah, I just stabbed myself in the finger with the pick. Really, really enjoyed that. Thanks. All right, let's fit the new one. I don't know how much of this I'm going to probably edit, but hopefully someone will find it funny. Okay, so... New clip is on. Okay, so first things first. CV boot clip number one. Slide that in. And then a little bit of loop on that just to slide it all up there. And then wiggle this on. If I had half a brain, I'd have put that clip on last, but you know. Who who thinks about moving forward? Right, I'm gonna take that clip off actually. I'm scared I'm gonna damage it in the process of trying to put the boot on because the boot is died like a tiger. Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Ah. Get in the tray. So, right, back to what I was doing. Oh, yeah. right, that is on. It's just Block that back like that so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, there we go. Two vital things done. Now, the thing that I fitted a minute ago, we're gonna put that back on. I'm playing a dangerous game. I've got the bin directly underneath. If I drop that into the bin, there'd be no chance of finding it. Okay, so, tore that apart. What I like to do is just chuck a little bit inside there and just get it on the backs of the bearings. Oh, this stuff is horrible and just really pack it in as nice and as messy as I can. Yeah, the messier the better people, let's be honest. I officially can't turn the camera off after I do this because, yeah, it's just not good. There we go. Packing it full. Ugh. Okay, so pack the CV, got everything good. Now, let's hope the cable tie, cable tie trick works. So what you're gonna do is just get it on. Can you believe what it is yet? Uh, make sure it's all lined up and central. M make sure you miss it. You know, you've got to miss it once. There we go. Do you know what, believe it or not, I saw this little beauty trick on TikTok. Uh, and I did a video on it there because I just could not believe it worked and it worked so well. God, it's fiddly. So, I mean, in all this time, everyone's probably thinking you could have just put it on by now, but, you know, where's the fun? That one didn't work. Okay. Failed once, can I fail twice? Let me get some snips to take that one off. Okay, let's try that again. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Or we call it a warm up, I don't know. It was a practice, practice fitment. 
Doesn't help. Okay. I'm gonna actually just clean my damn hands so I can actually feel what I'm doing. Let's give it another go. Right. That's in. Hey. Hey. Don't move, don't move. Oh, yes. Okay, right. So we've got it, as you can see. Uh, I'm struggling to see because the stand is in the way. So where the circlip is, the cable tie is, is all over it. Um, does the light actually do anything? No, let's just get it out of the way for now. Yeah, so that is there. We're going to just pull it as tight as we can get it. Now, do we reckon we're going to do it in one? Who knows? Well, let's find out. First things first, copper, hammer. Where are you? Ah oh, yes, all the noise, sorry. Right. So here we go, let me cut that tail off because it's annoying me. I would, but I've, I've lost the snips. I had the snips in my hand a second ago, but I've lost them now. And I found them again. I'll leave that sharp just to annoy people. So, make sure we're in a nice little position. Okay. Uh, no, it didn't work. Don't think that worked. Uh, I don't think it worked, but part of me thinks it has worked. So I'm going to give it another tap on just to see, and then give it a little pull back, just to make sure. But I think it's done it. Obviously, copper hammer for the win on this job. So that damage anything. Would you look at that? I did it first time. It took me two times to fit the... Um, the cable tie, but yeah, let's give it the, oh yeah, happy. So that's the cable tie trick. So we've, we've, we've established two things. If you can't get it off, cut it off, and to put it on, use the cable tie. I'm well happy about that. Oh, obviously I, I know it works, I've done it before, I'm going on like this is the first time I've seen fire, but it's good to see it actually work and they see. So now, Gonna unfold the boot. Also, I'm glad it's the right bloody size and it fits. I've got to admit, it's actually nicer working with a tripod. Thank you to the people who told me to do it. Now, put the rest of the grease in and then start, um, well, start with the clamps and stuff like that. Here we go. Lovely back of the grease. And by the way, I did cut the cable tie off and it's in the bin. So anyone thinking that it's still in there, it's not, that's, that's long gone. Cut it off when I was checking to see if I'd failed. Luckily I haven't. Okay, so that's the last of the grease lightning. Now, again, cleaning hands. Now what we want to do is if it all goes well, is get this on nice and snug and secure. Make sure it's on all the way around. I normally start at the bottom. And satisfying click, cover me in grease. What's it gonna be? Mint. So these are the pliers I use. There are actually proper ones for them, but these are actually alpha pliers to remove them stupid clips that they have. I normally find these work quite well. So we're going to hold it, pinch it, and just do it one more time, and then give it a little knockdown. Right, that's one of two. All right, so you've got clip two, uh, sorry, clip two on. Uh, also put the nut on there just to make sure the threads were all good, because obviously we did use the copper hammer on it, but as you can see, she's sliding nicely up and down there. 
Now, I've, I believe it's in line. Maybe it could go a little bit more, but that is as close as I'm going to get it. Uh, so you've got little notches. Just get it as tight as you can and then just give it a good... All right, that's one, and then flip it around just to make sure it's definitely two. Little knock in. Okay, cool, that's that done. Now, quick rebuild, shouldn't take too long. Well, I wish we got that on record all in one go. I managed to get that in, and it's slotted in on the hub straight away, so well, that's, that's not happy days. Yeah, that's just awkward. So, got the hub in, uh, put a little bit of anti-seize on the bolts. Now, there you go, there's one. And then just gonna slide the other one in. I'm playing with all the wrong stuff today. CV grease, which gets you covered. Anti-seize, which let's be honest, you use a drip, you end up turning into, well, pretty much end up looking chrome. They're both in, brilliant. And I've also got the hub nut on as well. So, you don't need to see me bolt these all up, but I will show you it in a minute. Now, before we finish up, put the caliper on and tighten the hub nut. The all important cleanup. And then we've got to clean the disc as well because obviously I've been touching it and I don't want to have grease transferred over to it or anything like that. Cool. And then a quick wash with brake and clutch cleaner. Make sure we get the disc all nice. Just clean that whole thing down really. And give it a final wipe. Don't forget you don't want to transfer any brake, well, CV grease or anything like that onto the Break this because then it'll just well that's that's not gonna be a good situation really. Yeah, all nice and clean. Lovely. Just for me to touch it again with my hand and, and dirty it. Uh now brake caliper, unhook it. Way nearly drop it. Make sure the pipe is not tangled up. That is one thing that I am seeing a lot. People do it, twist the the brake pipe up and uh, lo and behold, twisted pipes. And no one really wants twisted tubes, do they? Okay. Line it up, give it a little wiggle and jiggle. Bolt one. And nice, bolt two. Now, because we've touched the brakes and we moved the pistons back ever so slightly, remember when you get in it, pump the pedal, get your brake pedals back, get a good pedal, because the last thing you want to do is go yee out of the workshop and crash into everyone's car. I'm not saying that's happened before, but yeah, there's been a few times nearly forgot to pump the pedal and had that oh dear lord moment. It's not nice. Right. All set up. One. Give it the double check and double snappy tappy. So that's that done. Um, my arch nemesis ABS wires are in as well. Uh, all I've got to do now is put the wheel on, torque the wheel up, pump the brakes, and take it for a road test and hopefully no more clicky clicky. Okay, so just done the hub nut up. What I like to do on a lot of bolts, if I can find it, there it is, which is actually, this has come to the end, but because these have been done up and I know they've been done up, just give them a little mark, kind of like a little anti-tamper. And if anything goes wrong, I know I touched it last. Um, yeah, just mark it all up. You know what's been done. You know what you've touched. Uh, ah, I nearly forgot to mark the caliper bolts because I touched them, didn't I? One. There you go. Blue pen's nearly on the way out. It's a sad day. Uh, besides a hell of a lot of tidying up. Chuck the wheel on. And then uh, it's gonna be time for a road test. So wheel's been nipped. We're talking 120 newton meters on these. And then it's hubcap and time for a road test. Ah, oh, this is difficult one-handed. So as I said, first things first, make sure we've got brakes. So let's go on a road test. 
All right, so let's see if we can hear any clicks. It is on a stony ground, by the way. That's a lot better. Nice and quiet, no noises, no snapping, no clonking and banging. All right, guys, well, this one's all done. It's been fun. It's been a little adventure for us all. Um, and I'm happy I got to try out my stand. But um, main thing is, if you liked the video, if it was useful, you know, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, yes, show, well, we really appreciate any support and stuff like that. And if you've got any tips, give them, like, let me know. Curious to know how everyone's gonna take this video. We had to cut everything to bits. So um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, anything that you like. So this one is done.